ます。It's one of the big philosophical questions. Can money buy you happiness? A famous American study in 1978 showed that the link between money and happiness is not as obvious as you might think it is. Chris Budd is an expert on financial well-being. They asked a bunch of lottery winners and a bunch of people who had suffered a very serious accident, life-changing accident. Were they happy before the incident? And were they happy after the incident? Actually, whoever of either group said they were happy before were also happy afterwards. In other words, the event made no difference. Of course, money can buy us things which give us pleasure: holidays or meals out, for example. It can also give us more options, but it's not the biggest contributor to human happiness. There's a Harvard study of、um, 900 or so. People,、uh, young people, and they asked them, "What will make you happy in the future?" And they all said two things: money and fame. That's what they predicted would make them happy. That was 75 years ago, and they've been going back to this same group of people every two years, asking them, "Are they happy?" and all sorts of questions around happiness. And overwhelmingly, the answer that they've come up with is that what makes us happy is the quality of our social relationships. Not the quantity, even the quality. Even to the extent that they have seen that lonely people die earlier. Of course, we're all different. Some things may be more important for your happiness than they are for other people's. Chris Budd says it's very important that we all work out, preferably with the help of a financial advisor, what we really want from life. So money is important. Money does make us happy. But it, it's an、uh, enabler, isn't it? It makes us happy by enabling us to do things. It's a tool, and if we therefore first of all work out what will make us happy, we can therefore direct our money in the right ways. Now, the way to work out what makes us happy is to, I think, use a third party because you can't really challenge your own assumptions. Um, we go through life with lots of self-limiting beliefs, with lots of things that we just assume to be true, but we need a third party to challenge us to find out what really might be true. So, if you haven't already, try to identify exactly what it is that makes you happy. You might just surprise yourself.